Hello, Leah. Welcome to your late mid-month check-in for March 2024. I will keep this brief. Because I got a lot of you guys yet to do. Those two days with all electricity really um, put me behind. Yes. Okay. What we got here. Now, this particular deck is a Major Arcana deck, and it has some extra cards in it. What you got was Faith. And I just feel like, I want to say, Faith will get you through. Let's see what this is all about. Okay, show me that Leo energy, please. Show me that Leo energy. Show me that Leo energy. Show me that Leo energy. Show me that Leo energy, please. Show me that Leo energy. 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 Uh, don't don't go crazy on me. Okay. Let's see what we got. Ace of Wands. New ideas, bright ideas, a new spark. Page of Pentacles. There could be some documentation or some new opportunity, some brilliant idea that you come up with. Um, could involve paperwork. A contract or some kind of communication that lights you up here like I said your faith sees you through if there's something you've been waiting on it looks like it's coming uh, ha ha five of swords the shoot your, that is my shoot yourself in the foot card this is having that doubt um, and it's right below it really when in doubt, rely on your faith. I'm hearing self-sabotage. And I'll let that go for right now. Ace of Swords. A personal truth. Some kind of truth. Some kind of communication. You've got two aces here. And eight of cups. Okay, Leo, 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 Leo. What we have here is an opportunity for something new, something refreshing, something that kind of lights you up, if you will. That match is lit. What are you going to do with it? There's a sense of self-sabotaging here. Um, we're going to get into that. Um, we'll see what card pairs up with the self-sabotaging. Um, a sense of throwing in the towel, losing faith and hope into something. And... Because there's some kind of personal truth comes out that tells you that you have to abandon something. This may be painful to abandon, something you don't want it to abandon. Um, I think it's something that you've known that you needed to let go of, walk away from. But you have been holding on to this, whatever it is, Leo. And you've been shooting yourself in the foot time and time and time again. That's got to end. It's got to end. Let's see what we have here. Nine of Swords. Overthinking things. Not sleeping. Worry. There's an idea here. A spark. There's something that lights you up. That you, is weighing heavily on your mind. And it has something to do with this Five of Swords. I'm telling you. Temperance. Temperance is screaming patience. To me. The patient. It is talking about. You know, let's talk about temperance for a minute. Um, so many readers, they go in and they say, Oh my, you know, temperance, that peace and that harmony. But the peace and harmony happens after the exchange of waters. You know, the they're going like this with the waters. That's turbulent. 
Water is emotion. Sure, there's peace that can happen. There's um, healing that can happen. But it's after the turbulence. Um, so, yeah, you're go you've gone through something turbulent. And there definitely seems to be a peace offering. But you are concerned about it. And the hermit with the five of swords. This here is taking on an extra meaning of the five of swords. Avoidance. Um, I'm sticking to myself. Avoidance. Sometimes some of you are going within and trying to analyze things. And the more that you analyze... The more you sabotage yourself. Analysis paralysis is what I'm hearing. And then as you're doing that, you know, the hermit is typically what, your wisdom and your knowledge. But being that it's under the five of swords, it's like all your wisdom and all your knowledge just go right out the window. And the doubt is setting in and avoiding the situation. I don't want to deal with this. I'm done, you know, and you just keep on keeping on instead of making changes. And as you keep on keeping on, instead of letting things change and shifting things and invoking your aces here, and this is your master, not master symbol, wands. You're supposed to have that confidence and be lit up and excited about life. But in order to get there, you also have to invo invoke this ace, ace of swords, the thought, the change, new thinking, new ways of thinking, new thought processes, a truth, acknowledging a truth that there are some things you just got to leave behind. I, I know this is a tough one for you, Leo, but it is what it is. Five of cups. There, there we are with the ace of swords. A very painful truth. One of loss. And some of you are beating yourselves up with regret too. How did I allow myself to fall into this? As I like to say, shit happens. Okay? But as long as you are acknowledging that. Um, and this... And so, in response, some of you are suspending that walking away. You know, this is knowledge here. You know that it's time to walk away. Maybe, yes, this is where the other side of the Five of Swords is kicking in too. About throwing in the towel on something. Something that is you have tr stuck with. That has not panned out. That personal truth like I've got to move on. I've got to move my life forward. It's difficult. It's painful. Because I know I have to let something go. But you know what. I'm, I'm going to hang in there just a little bit longer. I'm going to suspend it. Moving on for another day. I'll leave it behind tomorrow. But here's the problem. Tomorrow never comes. Tomorrow gets here and you're looking at things and someone comes a calling. You get a communi somebody communicates with you and it's like, okay, I'll just hold off. I'll wait. Let me see what they're saying. Let me and let me indulge just a little bit. Um, oh, they they want to apologize. Okay. Oh. And then you're shooting yourself in the foot because you have that knowledge. You know. And you know deep within. Even your higher self is screaming at you as, I'm, as you're watching this reading. And it's one thing to acknowledge what you need to do. But you've got to do it. You've got to stop suspending the inevitable. Because the longer you suspend that, the longer you're, you put your life on hold, the longer you sacrifice, and the longer that you get nowhere. Now, there's just a couple cards here I want to clarify. Um, look at that. Death showed up underneath. 
ending something. An ending, a transformation. Um, so, and I know that there, um, my guides are telling me that there's somebody out there thinking, oh, who's going to die? Nobody's going to die. It is death of a situation, a death of a relationship, an ending of communication, a transformation, ending of the way you know life now, and making the positive changes for improvement. Um, life is what we make of it. We can choose to stay prisoners of circumstances. We can choose to stay a victim of circumstances. Or we could take that bull by the horns and leave behind that which is holding us back. Leave behind any negative energy, no matter who it is. Leave it. Even if they're... I know. I know. Emotional attachment. I know. It hurts. I know. I've been through it. Okay? I speak from experience. And I held my life up for years. And the moment I let that go, I'm living a different life now. So I can say this with confidence with ex from experience. Okay. I want to know what this ace of, what, what your idea is. This ace of wands is spark. That's the first thing. What is it that you're worried, and why are you worried about it? World. Because I mean, it is completing a cycle. It means starting over. Lovers. An ending of a connection with a soul bond. A choice. The star. In order to heal. So that's cycling out of a karmic relationship. A karmic soul bond. And following a new star. A new path. And healing from this. And you're worried about this. Okay, what, what is this Nine of Swords? What is this Nine of Swords? Chariot. How do I move on? Ace of Cups. Two of Cups. New love. Emotional love. How do I move beyond this partnership, beyond this person that I love so dearly? Is it reciprocal? Ask yourself that. Do you receive back what you put in? Or is somebody soaking you dry? Is somebody an energy vampire? Is somebody taking all your time and energy that you can't focus on self? Are you sacrificing your own self for somebody else? Somebody who's a five of swords. And here we go with a Another layer of the Five of Swords. Somebody, the Five of Swords, who is a bully. When are you going to stop letting this person or a group of people bully you? Now, I'm really, I'm doing these two cards together, not separately. And I'm seeing a peace offering or another, another apology. Show me this. Show me more information about this. Ten of Swords. Betrayal. Empress. Betrayal of the Mother. Family. Home. Relationships. This is an ending that needs to happen. Somebody coming to apologize for what they've done to you in this relationship, in this family dynamic. Somebody wanting to or say that they want to balance with you. But my guides are also telling me that this is cyclic. This has happened over and over and over and over. When are you getting off that hamster wheel? <clears throat> when are you going to stop doing the same thing over and over again, expecting or hoping for different results? It's not happening. Huh, look what's under the deck. Ace of Swords. Under the deck. And I'm putting that down. Because that's telling me, right here, you know this. About this person. 
but you continue to shoot yourself in the foot. Let them bully you. Let them drag you down to the point where you want to hide from the world. Where does it stop? It stops with you. That's what. It stops with you when you take back your power. When you no longer allow this person to bully you. And how do you do that? You already know the answer. Eight of Cups. You walk. You leave them in the dust. You say, see ya. Don't want to be ya. Okay. I want to make sure if you're um, evoking this Eight of Swords. Show me this Eight of Swords. Six of Swords. Good for you. That's moving on. Queen of Cups. You know, even though it's emotional, an emotional departure, this is, you know, moving your heart space forward. Six of Pentacles. That's what, or Seven of Pentacles. An evaluation of your physical world. An evaluation of life in general. Your evaluation of your environment. An environment, a situation that you've been in to for a long time. We've got a couple cards here. The Temperance card and the Seven of Pentacles have time built into them. So, this is not something that somebody betrayed you last week. This has been going on for years. Um, some of you might be experiencing seven-year cycles. I don't know where that's coming from, but I was just told that. But it's time to take back your power, honey. Leo, it's time to take back your power. Okay. I'm using this, this deck for you as well for a message. I shit you not. Cancer just got this. If you have cancer in your chart, you want to may want to watch that video as well. But this is a karmic release. Releasing that karmic soul bond that I just got done talking about. Releasing it. Spirit's talking to somebody. So let's get some advice on the self-care. Advice for Leo, please. Advice for Leo. Advice for Leo. Advice for Leo. Can I have some advice for Leo? Spirit's really lecturing somebody. Changing a bad habit. To me is a habit of holding on. That cycle. Live your dreams. Never give up on your dreams. Dare to live the adventure. That's that hope and having that faith in your dreams. And you already know the only way you're going to reach that. You have to let something go. Really and release the doubts. Wow. So, spiritual advi spirit's advice to you is you got to release those doubts, honey. Any doubts that you have in yourself. And you need to start living your life for you. And break any kind of bad or negative habits or negative patterns. Such as allowing somebody to continue to bully you. Well, you know what to do, Leo. Ball's in your court. Okay. But that's your reading. I hope this helps somebody, resonated with somebody. 
And I hope you take some action on this. I love you all, and I'll see you in your next reading.